Hey everyone, so good to see you. So today I am going to do my August favorites. I know it's a few days late. I meant to have it up earlier, but just haven't had the time to do it right now. So I am going to start with my beauty slash um, makeup, whatever, that kind of stuff. So let's just get into it. So all the month of August, pretty much, I've been using um, a lot of things in this favorites video I've also been trying to use up. So this is the Physician's Formula Argan Wear uh, BB Cream in light. And I like it. It works really well because it's a little dark on me. Usually it's what I have on right now. Um, I'm pretty glowy because it's I'm filming this kind of late tonight. And... Uh, because I had rehearsal, but I really like it. It's great to just throw on for nothing big like that. So that's been one of my faves for August. Another fave for August has been Elf's Shimmering Facial Whip in Golden Peach. Um, I really like it if I don't want to do too much on makeup. If I use that, um, I'll use the BB cream. And then I'll put this on pretty much all over from here, all the way down, almost like a blush. And a lot of times that's if that's all I'll do. Sometimes I'll add in another one of my favorites. This is, I have hit pan, so <laughs> there you go. This is from, it's a Cheekers, CoverGirl Cheekers in Rose Silk. It's kind of a... Um, peachy pinky color. It really doesn't show up too well um, on my skin in the swatch, but when I put it just a little bit of it over um, the Golden Peach Shimmering Facial Whip, it just gives a really nice kind of summery flush to the cheeks. I really like it. So these two in combination have been a great fave, but I've also done them separately. I'm also, like I said, a lot of these I've been trying to use up in hip pan, and I've done that, so I've got a little more left of that. But um, another thing I've really been enjoying for the month is I need to do a uh, trash or treasure review on these. But this is one of the things my brother brought me back from Korea. Um, I mentioned it in a video a while back. Um, this is the My Lip Tent Pack. This one's in it's in lovely peach. Um, it's just the one that I've been using the most. It barely tints my lips, but if I'm just doing some quick errands and I don't really want to wear much of anything, I will throw on my BB cream, throw on the e.l.f. Shimmering Facial Whip on there, do just, um, sometimes I'll just do a one color using um, a bronzer just as an eyeshadow instead of, because uh, I don't really use much bronzer. And then this, which just gives a little peach, and on top of it, I'll pop a lip gloss. Um, one of the lip glosses I've been going to, to this month to put over this, um, or the, um, this is the one I've used the most, but, um, and it has been, for a little bit of color on it, is the Milani Brilliant Shine Lip Gloss. This one's in Sweet Grapefruit. Um, it was on in one of my lip monthly bags, and um, I really like it. It's kind of sticky, but not too much. Actually, today I have, um, I'm going to be doing a lip monthly review on my August bag. And in my August bag, I got a lip crayon in pink grapefruit, and that's what I have on underneath. Um, and I put the sweet grapefruit on top, and I love that combo too. Um, but yeah, this is something I've been grabbing for, one of my favorites. Um, another favorite, I'm just pulling these out randomly, has been my Jordana 12-hour made-to-last um, eye pencil in, this one's in the almond, continuous almond is what it's called. I love this as like a primer for my shadows. Um, I've been putting this on as a primer for the sh my shadows and putting my shadows on over it. It really helps hold on the color. I really like it a lot. Um, I had thought, however, at one point that it might be breaking me out because I was getting some little bumps like right up here. 
but it stopped doing that. So I don't know if I got used to something in it. So I'm kind of keeping my eye on it, but I'm using it and so far so good. But I've really been loving that this month. Um, another thing that I've really been loving this month that I, I honestly don't know if I'll purchase it again. Um, just because when I do, usually I have just my regular everyday mascara that I usually make sure is in a, um, it's in a non-waterproof, just a regular formula. And then for shows and special occasions, I usually wear a waterproof formula. Now, this is not a waterproof formula. This is Wet n Wild's Max Volume. It's not a waterproof formula, um, but it doesn't seem to come off really um, easily, except when I do my oil cleansing at night, it comes off, of course. But um, I've been using it for part of the summer, and it hasn't really like run off or anything. It's super, super black. Um, the wand is a rubber wand, which I totally like. Actually, I hate rubber wands. This is one of the few that I didn't mind. So that's surprising to me. Um, but I'm super picky about my mascaras. Um, I guess you would say one that I would consider a holy grail for me is wet or is Maybelline's Full and Soft Mascara. I really like that. I like the way it makes lashes look. Um, and I used to use Maybelline's Lash Discovery, and I think I'm going to be picking that up again um, next month for the show um, because I need to make sure I'm I'm really lined well and stuff. But for the month of August, I have been loving this. I'm I uh, like I said, I usually I have that extra for for special occasions, but I'm not sure. I do really like this, so I'm. I guess you could say I'm just really debating on whether to get this again or just keep using the one that I use. Um, so, and I will probably in another video talk more about the one that I use daily. Um, but it is also a Wet n Wild mascara. I kind of like the way that their mascaras are. So, there's that. I have been reaching all month. This is kind of a beauty thing. I got it in my Ipsy bag, the Jarrell Parker Classico. Um, as you can see, I've used it about half up. I've been grabbing for it. I really love, I, I mean, I love, I've grown to love the smell. I don't think I loved it when I got it in the Ipsy bag, but I really like the way it smells. Um, it's still, though, for me, like, I will not smell it after I put it on, like, I can't smell it, but other people can. Looks like I've only got a couple more things left in my bag. Um, oh yeah, I'm looking at this like, what is it? Um, the Jersey Shore Sun Mongongo Lip Balm that was in my Ipsy bag in June. I use this all the time, every night. Oh, I can't get over how good it smells. It smells like coconut cream pie which is one of my favorites, and now that I'm diabetic, I haven't had any coconut cream pie for a while, so this is my substitute. Um, but no, I really love this. It makes my lips feel great, not chapped, anything. It's really good. I love it. Um, this is Wet n Wild Mega Last Lip in Rosebud. This color, I don't know. I, I just have been reaching for it. It's a really nice neutral. I think it's picking up a little orange. It's not orangey at all. Um, it's a nice pinky coral. Coral. It has a tint of coral to it, but it's called Rosebud. It looks like a pink rose color. I love this. I've been grabbing it quite a bit during the month of August, so it made the favorites. And last but not least, this is what I got in my... Um, August Ipsy bag. It's the Too Faced Hangover RX um, primer. I love this so much. I so wish Too Faced was not so expensive, but I really do love this. Um, I have used it quite a bit in August. 
but I'm trying to save just a little bit for my upcoming show. Um, but, you know, I might get a different primer. So that would be all of the beauty stuff, unless you count nail polishes. I'm going to talk about a couple that I've been loving this month. Um, one of them is called Charmed. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get where you guys can really... Mm, it just looks silver and sparkly in my viewfinder. But it is like a purpley gray color with iridescent sparkles. It is so gorgeous. It's sinful colors. The name is Charmed. If you happen to see it, it's just gorgeous. This is another gorgeous color. I have no idea if it's going to pick up right. It's from Sinful Colors also. It's called Let's Talk. And it's looking really blue in the viewfinder. It is like a bright, bright, vivid purple. It's just so gorgeous. It does have a hint of blue in it though and it's got it almost is like I would say maybe it's a little bit of like a duochrome but it's like a purple to blue. Um, it's gorgeous. Love that. And I think this will be my last favorite. This is Harvest Snaps in Black Pepper. I had never tried these before. Picked them up at Walmart. They were $1.50. I am in love with these. They are so good. And for all my diabetic peeps out there, it is about like one ounce serving. So like 22 pieces. There's only 16 total carbs in it. Um, so if you are like me, the way that I'm supposed to count is each carb serving is 15 grams. And, you know, you can round down. So 16 would be 15. So it's a carb serving per serving. So that is awesome. Love these things. So good. And yeah, that's it for my monthly favorites. August monthly favorites. Um, just let me know. Sorry, I just had like a brain fart. Need some air freshener for that or something. Just let me know what you guys have been loving for the month of August. Um, leave it in the comments below. Give me a thumbs up if you like these favorites videos. That way I can know if you guys want to see these even or if we don't want to do them anymore or whatever. We, you know, I value your input and your opinion. Please excuse the crazy hair. Like I said, it's like the end of the night. So, um, yeah. If you haven't already, subscribe, subscribe. You guys have a great day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.